right here is a conductivity tester. When I flip this switch on, this open circuit with 120 volts AC current on there, they actually make them a lot safer than this, but I found that the attention of the students is directly proportional to the perceived hazard to the demonstrator. So, right here, let's check, can we see, and, oh, whoop, oh, that's the wrong way, so there it goes. Okay, that means that whatever it is, metal, conducts electricity. Most important thing about this is we don't want to check the conductivity of Randy, so you always say, Randy, turn it off, and I'm done. Let's try that. Randy, turn it off. Good. Okay, let's start with water. Water conducts electricity, right? We can turn it on. No, not so much. Because? <laughs> because? It, uh, it's distilled water. It doesn't happen. This means I can I can use my hair dryer in the bathtub, right? It's water. No. no, because first of all, the water I'm getting out of the tap isn't distilled. It's got some ions in it, especially after I've taken a shower. And uh, you have a lot of ions, ions in you, so you're going to be the, the conductor. Yeah. That's why you right. think you're here. So let's try to carefully measure quantity of salt in here. Still get that. Does the salt dissolve? Yeah. Eventually. No. <laughs> okay. Close enough. And turn it on. Oh. Yes, it can act like this very much. Good, good. Okay. Now, we're going to put my little thing in the right Now, I'm going to rinse the uh, electrodes. Then we're going to try sugar. So, so, what form when the salt dissolved in water? Ions. Right, it's associated with ions. Now some sugar. Carefully measure quantity. About the same amount. Carefully measure. Sugar dissolved in water, yeah. Not done yet though, you know sugar dissolved in water. Turn it on. Here we go. Oh. 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 Okay. But it dissolved. Why did it dissolve in water if it didn't dissociate? Because it did. It's polar, but it didn't dissociate. Okay, now let's try ethanol. Yay! Yeah. 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 Okay, here we go. We're going to put some ethanol, make a solution of ethanol in water. Did the ethanol dissolve in the water? Uh, yes, it did. It's completely miscible in water. And. Conduct electricity. <laughs> no, not so much. Thanks. <laughs> I like these guys. They want to see me alive. <laughs> Last one. We're going to use. Oh, I shouldn't have put water in this one. So this one's already an aqueous solution. Acetic acid in aqueous solution is about 0.8 molar. Acetic acid in aqueous solution. Vinegar. It's still white vinegar is almost here. The acetic acid is it's just about got just water. And acetic acid in. So this is already a solution. So that's acetic acid in water. Let's try this. Now you remember the... That's pretty good. Okay. You guys are going to have to remember this today. Randy, turn it off. <laughs> that's an ambiguous result. Yes. Did it conduct? Did it conduct like salt? Even though it's probably more concentrated.